G'day all, welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of Combat Volume 1 from Compass Games, the second introductory scenario, Rendezvous, and we're going on with the last turn. <laughs> right -o. so what we've got to try and do is get in and have people in this church. So I've gone through and I've done the uh, initiative and it'll be Blue, Baker, Red, Abel. But first, before we do anything, we've got one, two, three, four grenade checks to do first and a charge, just for the fun of it. So we'll start up here with this young fella. Um, so there has to be a uh, spotted enemy within four hexes. There doesn't have to be a line of sight. And we have one, two, three, four. So the same here, same here, and a charge, same, one, two, three, four. So this guy here is a, uh, uh, excuse me, um, is a four, but he's bold, so five. So we're looking at five or less, and he fails, so no grenade there. So he's got his aimed fire. Next little fella here is a four but has a light wound so he's down to a three or less and he gets it so he's actually going to do a grenade attack um whoops sorry put that in the wrong one uh the charge here again we have a light wound so we're down to a three or less and he fails so there's no charge there Uh, grenade attack here. He's all fine. So a four or less. <laughs> yep. And he does a grenade attack. And lucky last again, a four or less. And he fails. So no grenade attack there. Okay, so we've got... Uh, Two grenade attacks, yay! Along with a run and gun, a run and gun, an aim fire, and a run and gun. I've given my people an aim fire still up here, just as a um, chance to get in there. An aim fire here to try and hold people back, and evade to get in here to try and do a melee a run and gun to get in there and try and also do a melee if possible or into here, but this is where I really need to be. I'm just evading this guy out because he's got no ammo, uh, so that'll just get him out of the line of sight. And I've got a low ammo guy here with aimed fire. So that is that. So first up is blue. So starting from the back of the board, we don't have, so we're looking here, we have aimed fire but he doesn't have a line of sight to anybody, so he's not going to do anything at the moment. Um, he can't spot or do anything. Uh, next one is the grenade. And just going back to my... Uh, how to do a grenade, because I don't want to stuff it up. On impulse one, the character arms a grenade. It will do nothing other than spot and or duck back. Place a grenade marker on the enemy character and a grenade target marker on the closest enemy within three hexes. Choose randomly if there's more. Okay, so we don't have uh, one within, sorry, we do have one within three hexes and that's it. So we put our target marker on him so we have a target on him and we have our grenade ready to go and I know I can just flip that over and do it but I just like doing it this way so I know okay so he's done now we've got this guy with his grenade so 
he has a spotted character here and here, so he can go either way. So this will be a 0 through 4, and Private Peters here will be the 5 through 9. And he's going to try and throw his grenade there. Uh, I need another target marker. I'll just quickly clip him up. I'm hoping to take out that grenade that's just been done by uh, evading into there and basically meleeing anyway. But uh, there's his grenade. Like that. Um, next one is an aim fire, so he can't do anything other than spot, and he can spot him now. That's our last bloke, Sergeant Taylor. So we have a one, two, three for a spotting, which is a plus one, and we are run and gun in the open, uh, which is a plus two, so that's plus three. He's a four, so seven or less to spot. And he does spot. So all of the Americans are now spotted. So we can get rid of that. Okay, so we've done him. We've done him. We've done him. And we've done him. Okay, so that's the blues done. Um, so we go on to Baker. Righto, so we've got this guy here with his light, uh, sorry, his uh, aim fire, so he can't do anything other than spot. The only bloke who needs spotting is this guy, and there is no line of sight because he's basically on the wall here, so he can't, can't see. We have uh, the dead ground, so he is done. Uh, now we have Private Miller with his aimed fire. Um, so realistically, this guy is under grenade at a wall. Uh, da, 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 da. A wall with grenade is a minus one. That's not too bad, is it? What's this guy shooting? I know he can't shoot at the moment, um, but I'm just trying to work it out. Yeah, okay. So he can't do anything. We have this guy evading. So he is going to evade into here which means grenade shit goes away. That goes away. They go over here to A. This becomes A. We have our low ammo marker on the German and we put a melee on him. And I had one there. Yes, I did. Now I'm going blind. So, uh, okay, well, let's grab another one then. Um, it's on the back of the... I can't remember what one it was on. Go and stupid. It's not on guard. It's not on charge. It's not on medical because that's search. Oh, of course, it's on the back of the normal one, dickhead. Yeah, okay. Melee. So we have a melee over there. Uh, and, of course, nothing happens on the uh, the first impulse anyway, so that's just sitting there pretty, and that target goes away. Um, so that's all Baker done. 
Baker, Baker, and Baker. Done. And we're over to the Reds, and we have a run and gun 5-6. So this guy runs down here. Um, like that. We have a run and gun 5-6. So this guy runs down here. And we have a run and gun 5-6. So he comes into the building here. Like that. Which gives us then to... Uh, mark them out, mark them out. Um, I know I haven't been marking in most of this game, but I'm just starting to get confusticated. So that's the word of the day. So we'll evade back there for Abel. Our little man who's out of ammo. So we have a run and gun here. So I'm going to run here, like that, um, so he's done, at least he's in the trees, and I have an aimed fire, okay, so he can't do anything other than spot, and there is no one that he can spot, so he's done as well, and that takes us to impulse two. So, of course, the blue bugger is going to get the first go at us. Um, he is an initiative four. Um, oh, sorry, a, an experience four against our bloke of five. So, for Melee. Do, 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 do. Let's get this right as well. Melee is gone charge Maylee come on where'd you go uh, 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 Maylee procedures seven seven ten ten fifteen let's have a look in fifteen fourteen fifteen okay Okay. To make a melee attack, a character makes a TQC modified by wounds and morale. It's a successful score a hit. Right out. Okay. So he is a four or less. And he gets a hit. And we end up with a bad wound on our fella. Of course we do. Okay. So that's not going to help us at all. So we have a bad hit on him. So now we need to do a wound morale check. So he is five minus three. So two or less and fails. So he goes down two, which means he becomes cautious and then shaken. Now, this is not good at all because that means he's only got a zero now for any melee that he does. Okay, so that blue is done. We have an aimed fire here, but he's got nobody to fire at. Uh, we have an aimed fire here. Oh, sorry, we've got the grenade here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Grenade, grenade, I've lost you again. Uh, grenade, okay, on impulse two, character will move a single hex, but only if the enemy is four hexes away or more, he's not. Uh, if the enemy character does not move and there is no friend character in the hex, da 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 da. So, no, he's not going to do anything. He just sort of goes, yes, I've got this guy sighted in, ready to go. Okie doke. So then we have aimed fire. So, again, he could fire here. Or he could fire here. Um, he can't fire there. 
So looking at the furthest one to start with, we have one, two, three, four, five, six for his um, rifle is a zero modifier for range. And we'd be looking at an aimed fire in trees, which would be a minus two. So this bloke would be a minus two. This guy is at a range of two, which is a plus one modifier with run and gun in trees, which is a zero. So this one is a plus one modifier. So we'll go this way and he fires for four. So four or less to hit and he hits and it's a bad wound. Okay. And we have a bad wound on the sergeant. And he is a six. So therefore, he is a three or less to pass. Whoops, sorry. And he passes, so he drops one and becomes cautious. Righto. So we've done all the blues now, and we go over to Bravo. So for Bravo, we have this guy with aimed fire. Now, he can't shoot there, there, or there, because they're all out of sight, out of mind. He can shoot there. He can't shoot there. He can shoot there. This guy's in a house. This guy's in the open. So we're going to shoot at this guy here. <clears throat> okay, so it's a BAR. And we have a range of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is a zero modifier, I believe. Yeah. Um, so we have nine. Um, he's in the open with a run and gun, which is a minus one. And we have another minus one for our light wound, so that's minus two. So he needs a three or less to hit. We're going to fire two bursts. First burst is a miss three or less, and a miss, but we didn't waste any ammo. So he's done. Next baker is this little guy with aimed fire. Um, now, I'd really like to take out this grenadier here. Uh, one, two, three. Well, his grenade is only two, and he'd lose one for it, but... I need a man in there. So if we did shoot here, it would be one, two, three with an M1 is a plus one. And that guy is grenade in wall, which is a minus one. So he'd be a zero, which means he'd be firing for a four or less into there. And I think that's worthwhile. Oh, he got him. Well done, that man. He becomes bold. Okay. And we have a bad wound. Okay, so we have a bad wound now on this guy. And that gives him three plus one is four, which kills him. And he is dead as a dodo. Okay. Well done, that man. So that target mark comes off there. Okie dokie. Uh, so he is done. And then our other one is, of course, the melee. Uh, so we have a bad wound and we're shaken, which gives us minus five. 
And our initiative or our, our experience, whatever you want to call it, is a five. So we need a zero for a hit. Zero for a hit. Come on. Oh, a one. Bugger. Okay, so that is that done, and we're back to reds. So we have a run and gun here. So he can gun now. He can see this guy, so he can shoot at him. Um, and he's shooting for crap. Okay, so we have aim fire in a building at range one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, uh, which is a plus one building aimed fire is a minus two. So that's minus one, minus two, minus three. So he needs a zero to hit and gets a six. So nothing there. This guy is, again, a run and gun. Um, and the only bloke he can shoot at is him again. So again, for a zero. And he gets a six as well. So nothing there. And this guy is a run and gun as well. Um, he can't shoot him. He could shoot him or he could shoot him. So again, what we have is a one, two, three, four, five, six, which is a zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, same range. So they're both zero. So it comes down to aim, fire, and run and gun in trees. Um, so we look at trees. Aim, fire is a minus two, and run and gun in trees is a minus two. So, <coughs> excuse me. So realistically, it's one or t'other. Um, so... Mm -mm -mm. We've got one through four, five through nine. We get an eight, so he's firing at the sergeant. Now, this is the fun part. So he's uh, minus two. Minus three, minus six, minus eight. So he's at minus five. What happens there? Let's just pause. Right, so as far as I can see, he still has to fire, um, but it just basically sees whether his morale is going to improve or he's going to end up out of ammo. So, and nothing happens. And he's done. Now, again, I could be wrong about that, but uh, that's the way I sort of read it. Okay, and then we're over to Abel. So we have, again, our run and gun here. So we're gunning. Um, and we could shoot either here or we could shoot here. Uh, so this is the best place to shoot simply because of the range. We have a range of two for a, a grease gun, which is a plus one. And that guy is aimed fire in a building, which is a minus two. So we're at minus one, minus two, minus five, minus seven, and he is a seven, so therefore a zero to hit. And we get a five. Nothing happens. That's the first one. Oh, a nine is low ammo for his second burst. And his last burst. A nine. He's now out of ammo. Yay! Okay. Um... So he's done. We evade back again, and he's done. And we have an aimed fire. Uh, again, we can fire here or here. I don't think we can fire there. No, trees are in the way. So it'd be this guy here or this guy here. Um, 
So again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the range is exactly the same. Nothing's going to happen there. Um, so it's either aim, fire, or run and gun in a building. And aim fire is a minus two, and run and gun is a minus two, so it doesn't really matter which one we go for. Um, if I go for him and hit him, I'm likely to kill him, which is probably better, but he's got no chance of hitting anything at the moment anyway. So I've got to fire here. I've got to try and knock him down. Okay, so it's there. So we have a minus two. And he is a 3, gives him a zero, 1. And we get a 7, nothing happens. And that is that. And we go on to impulse 3. Two impulses till the end of the game. Okay, so first one is blue. So we have aim fire that's doing nothing. We have aimed fire here. Again, this is his best place to shoot. So he's going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so again, it's uh, a range of two, which is a plus one for his car 98. Um, plus one. Oh, sorry, can't shoot, dickhead. Impulse three, can't shoot. And he spotted everything, so forget about that as well. Okay, he's done. Melee, nothing happens on the third impulse. So that's all the blues done. We go to Bravo. Uh, again, aim, fire, nothing happens. Uh, not Bravo, Baker. Aim, fire, nothing happens. And melee, nothing happens, which brings us to red. And we have a run and gun, and he's going to go six this time. So he's run up this way. And we have a run and gun, five, six. Uh, sorry, five this time. He comes down this way, dickhead. Okay, he's done. And this guy goes six, uh, five, six. So he comes down this way as well, out of the building. Right, so that's the blues and the reds done, and we go on to Abel. So, this guy simply runs away a bit further, like that. Uh, this guy goes into there, so he takes those with him. His run and gun goes away. So, father, who is winning? So well, you, this could go either way. It's not really flash. I've got two Americans in meleeing now with a uh, German, but both of mine have bad wounds and uh, their morale is down. <laughs> so it could go either way. That's for sure. Okay, um, so he's done, which leaves this little fella here for aimed fire and he's got nobody to spot or anything to do. So that's it and we go into the last impulse. Okay. Right, blues. This guy is aim fire, can't shoot at anybody, he's not going to do anything. This guy is aimed fire. Um, now, he could shoot into there. Because they do do that. They do do. Um, Thirteen. To fire, a friendly character must have fire order, line of sight, and sufficient range. He will choose their target as follows. The easiest target to hit, the closest friendly character. Uh, 
Now, if he fires into there, this is a range of two for his weapon, uh, which is a plus one into a building uh, with melee is a minus two. So he would be firing minus one into here, but it would be a random as to who he hits. If he fires here, three, four, five, six, that's a zero, uh, zero modifier for aimed fire in the trees is a minus two. So realistically, he has to shoot into here. Okay. So it's a minus one into here. Um, now, we've got three bods. So I'm going to call Private Peters, one, two, the German, three, four, and Sergeant Taylor, five, six, because that's the order they went in there. This is who he's aiming for. Four. <laughs> he's aiming at the German. Yes. Okay. So he's at a minus one to hit. He needs a two or less. And he misses. Thank God for that, they say. Okay. Now, melee. Do they, does he attack both or one? Here's where we get to it. If one or more characters have mole started, well, no, they don't. No, 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 no. Characters with a melee order will attack in melee on impulses two and four. He makes a TQC modified by wounds. Successful, a hit is scored. A hex with a melee marker on it may not be fired into by either side. Well, I didn't think they... I thought they could. Okay, so he's got a fire here. Fair enough. It's got a fire here, so we'll do that first. Uh, so we had a minus two into here, so he needs a zero one to hit. And he gets an eight, so nothing happens anyway. Right. Now he's got two blokes in there he's mailing with. So I think he has to pick one. Okay, so who's he going to pick? They're both... Uh, I've got one with a bad wound and cautious and one with a bad wound and shaken. So bad wound and shaken is rolling a zero to fight back. Sergeant Taylor is minus four. So Sergeant Taylor is the most dangerous. Now, I know he's got out of ammo, but this is melee, and he'd be just kicking, punching, bashing, so I don't really care about that. So he's going to go for the sergeant. So he has a four to hit the sergeant, and he gets a one, smacks the sergeant in the head with another bad wound, which makes six, and the sergeant is killed. Sergeant Taylor is another dodo. Righto. So because there's another bloke still there, he doesn't get a duck back to go back there. So that's fine. So we still have a chance. Right. Bravo. Baker, sorry, is next. So again, we can shoot here. He's got a light wound. He's in the open. He's got a bad wound. He's in the open. Uh, distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, we can't see him. Dead spot. Got to fight here. So 10. For a BAR... Again, it's a zero modifier, run and gun in the open, uh, is a minus one, 
So he's minus 1 and minus 1 is minus 2. So he needs 3 or less, firing 2 bursts. He gets a 3, which is a hit. It's another light wound. So he now has 2 light wounds. Uh, he does his wound morale check at two or less and fails, so goes down two and becomes shaken. And then we fire our second burst and we miss. And that is him done. Okay, bravo. Here we have aimed fire, uh, so we could shoot here or we could shoot here and try and kill him, which I think is the best thing to do. So we go one, two, three, four. For an M1 is a zero modifier. For a gain, run and gun in the open, which is a minus one, and we have four or less. Oh, we get a zero and we become aggressive, not that it's gonna matter much. And we hit a light wound. It's not enough to kill him. He's now got three light wounds, which equates to one bad wound. <sighs> but it's only three against his four. Okay, three light wounds. So now he does his check again. Um, and he is, and we only use his wound, we don't use his shaken, so uh, it's a zero or one to pass. He fails and goes down two, he can't go down two, so he just becomes a rout. Straight up. Um, and that goes away, because he has to rout. Okay, and he is done. Hey, yay, 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 yay. That was bright. Baker. Baker. Okay. So I need a zero to hit this bloody German in melee. A seven, and I miss. Right. Um, Reds. So he is now going to route. And he will route the fastest way he can. And by his card, he's a red, it's a 3-2. So he can sprint. So he gets a sprint 3-2. Um, and he sprints. This is the fourth. So he sprints 1-2 and is routed off the board. Uh, and this guy here is a run and gun, so he is going to go blat. And that's the only bloke he can aim at. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, which is a zero modifier. Um, again, um, I aim fire in the trees is a minus two, minus three. Minus six, minus eight. So he gets a one, he fails, but he doesn't lose anything and he's done. Which brings us to our last th uh, men, Abel, and he goes into the building there and he's happy. Um, well, in fact, our last two men because this is the only other bloke we've got here. So we'll try and shoot him. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. We have seven for run and gun in the open. Is a minus one total. Uh, so we're two or less to hit. And we get a six and do not. And the sergeant's dead. And that is it. 
So now the fun part. Who actually won this sugar fight? And let's have a look. Enemy character killed, not officer or NCO. And we have one, two. So that's two VP. Okay, let's go two. Each enemy prisoner, no. Each enemy character who routes off the board. And we have one, so we're up to three VP. No enemy characters in any building. No. We ended up with one enemy character in a building. That's why I was trying to get rid of him. Couldn't do it. Friendly character in possession of enemy papers. No, we didn't get any papers. For each friendly character in building hex 24 or 20, uh, 24 6 or 24 7 at the end of the game, 3 VP. So we have 3 and 6 with our badly wounded guy. That takes us to 9 VP. But wait, there's going to be less. Each friendly character killed, minus two. We had the sergeant killed, so we're down to seven. Each friendly character alive but wounded. And we have no, 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 no. But we have one, oh, sorry, one there and one there. It's another minus two. We're down to five. Each enemy character who left the board, uh, the left-hand edge, no. Uh, so we ended up with four to, five, uh, four to seven, which is poor performance. So the Germans won. But that was good. I enjoyed that. Um, again, yes, I know I've made mistakes and all the rest of it. But uh, no, I, I enjoyed that. That was quite good. Um, what's the next one? Oh, we use the farmhouse map. Again, blue and red. Wow, and they're going to be, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven of them to start with and place one gun emplacement as well. Gun emplacement, wow. And we've got six Charlies. Woo. Okay, so, um, again, uh, the... The way it works with the waiting or alert and stuff, um, yeah, is interesting, very interesting, um, with waking up, hearing shots and stuff like that, um, or hearing a melee. And, and that's one thing with the melee is why I wasn't worried about the uh, being out of ammo is because a melee only wakes somebody up alerts them within three hexes of the melee. So um, that's why I'm thinking all it is is, you know, thumping, stabbing, kicking, punching, choking, all those other horrible things as well. So I don't believe you need ammo for that. So you could end up without ammo, but yeah. Um, so that's that. Uh, one of the things Gimpy brought up is that... Uh, uh, grenade within five hexes when you know you got shooting as at 10 hexes but i think the the grenade with five hexes is basically somebody yelling out grenade and that's what you're hearing you know or fire in the hole or whatever the case may be sort of thing um rather than you know the grenade itself going off because it doesn't go off until the the uh the end phase effectively so um, so I think that explains that side of it. So it's not the grenade explosion. It's somebody standing up or whatever the case may be, throwing the grenade and somebody going grenade or whatever, or somebody going, shit, grenade. And that's what people hear. Um, because a melee can be a lot quieter than that with just scuffles and so forth, especially if, you know, somebody gets a good hold on somebody else. So that's the way I'm, I'm doing that. Uh, so that's that and I think again I, I am enjoying this um, oh and one other thing uh, I, I don't know if I brought it up 
um, in the last video or two is, uh, again, uh, there is a campaign variant coming out with Volume 2. Um, so that I'm looking forward to seeing that. And whether it'll work with Volume 1 um, or not, it should do. But, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that works out. Um, uh, that was the main thing I was worried about. I know this has got replayability due to the uh, initiative draws and stuff like that, um, and the drawing the enemy troops and so forth. Um, so th I suppose the only other question I would have then is, uh, in the second one, whether there is also a... Um, a scenario builder, uh, because that would be interesting, sort of thing like uh, Combat Commander has and, and stuff like that, where you can roll up a, a, a scenario um, as a random sort of thing. That would increase the playability as well. I know you can design your own, but um, it's always nice to have those little bells and whistles. So thank you for... Uh, putting up with my playthrough of this. Uh, I know this bloke down here has actually gone off the map, hasn't he? Um, he left the map, but he didn't route off the map. So that doesn't really matter about him at all. Um, so we shouldn't have been shooting at him or having him shoot back or anything else because the map finished at 12 and yeah, it was hit 13 and then 14. So again, I'm a twit, but I'm a consistent twit. So you should be used to that by now. So take care. Be good if you can. And I will catch you for introductory scenario three. Get that gun. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.